Okay. 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 Now we were talking about your personality and your family history, so it kind of gives you a good backbone of your personality. But what do you want the world to let you? What do you want the world to know who you are? Are you a lady? Are you a hustler? Are you about some money? Who are you? Who is Fat Cat? Um, like I said, I work hard, and I don't mind doing what I need to do to get the job. Regardless if it's for work, regardless if it's staying up after work, you know, and doing the extra things that I need to do to get whatever taken care of. I'm a ground zero person. I want everything around me to be right or I'm not going to be able to, you know, enjoy anything around me for the fun of it because I know I have this to take care of, you know. So, I'm just an all around the board type of lady, yes. Um, I like dates. Um, When you have faced adversity in your life, how did you handle it? Well, and if you could give an example, you know, I got so many. You know, I wasn't ready for a family. You know, I was in after working two jobs, and you know, found love, and you know, started a family with his friends. You know, had the mindset of taking care of myself at that time, but I had to easily break down and say, hey, it's not about me anymore. And, you know, so we had to a point now where I kind of got to set myself to the side. So I can't go as fast as the other promoters. That's why I do the other hairstylists, um, writers. I can't go as fast as everyone else when it comes to, you know, getting yourself known in different areas. So I'm grateful for this interview. If it seems like I'm too busy, oh, she's not coming to my party, or oh, she didn't, you know, show up here. It's not that I got to get a text or a phone call ahead of time, you know, so I can put it in my calendar, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm there. So, y'all need me on uh, anything. I want to see everyone do good and, you know, be successful and get their bag. Okay. Shout out to Joseph Smith, Chase that bag, the guy that I interviewed. When, have you ever hit rock bottom in your life? I um, most definitely. But that was when it was just me, you know. So those moments are going to happen. You know, you you got there by yourself. You don't have a child hanging on your hip. Or, you know what I'm saying, it's just you. You're going to hit rock bottom. That's what you be getting a pity story about. And I don't want to talk about it because, I mean, I did what I had to do to come back up again. But I'm doing what I need to do now to make sure that I stay, you know, in the midst of it. Okay. Now, as a woman, as a black woman in this country, do you feel that with your knowledge and life and hair braiding and promoting, do you feel like you can be the beacon of light for many others like yourself? Yes, I do. I represent the low life. I represent the, the plus side. I represent the mothers. And we need a voice because we all think sometimes that that's a damn lie. <laughs> I, I had to say that. That's well, a lie. Not all of us think that, but there are certain insecurities, even within myself. Like, okay, this is, you know, but normally I don't show it. You know, I still do it anyways. But that little voice. What do you think is the big? What do you think is the biggest monkey on your back going forward in your career? Do you think it's an insecurity or a person or a time in your life?
as if someone who has the free time they can just perfect it and make it just look like it's not working but that's an element that adds to your story because you have a lot of people that can't just cold turkey quit their job and focus on what they want to do. Um, so in a sense, that kind of is an ingredient to your success going forward. Yeah. So, um, and then another thing that I what Pretty Girl Savage is representing is I was just trying to be an example to my young ladies. I really wish I would have listened to the ladies that were, you know, in my ear when I was younger and it's history just repeats itself, you know. So yep. if I do run to a young lady that's not trying to take my guidance or whatever that's younger than me or whatever, you know, I don't get offended because that was me. You know, but at the end of the day, I just try to be an example, stay consistent, take care of my business because that fun is going to be there. So that's what the whole Pretty Girl Savage thing is about. You know, I'm a pretty girl. You can be on your pretty girl. But at the same time, I'm going to come down on this piece. This is